Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live and Rich Picks Daily, where you can join the club and you can win. I got a special pick for you today. Put NBM Neo Battery Materials on your radar, on your watch list. NBM on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange. NBMFF in America. This is a special deal. This is a very, very, very special deal with significant growth potential in significant growth industries, two very, very fast growing industries, the electric vehicle industry and the energy storage systems industry. I'm telling you guys, I'm looking at my, I'm looking at my magic crystal ball. And I believe that Neo Battery Materials, NBM, NBMFF has a chance to be a 10X. That's right, a 10X with huge, huge, huge growth, growth potential. Let's explain why. NBM, Neo Battery Materials, is the only one in Canada on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange that has the patents to develop and advance silicon anode materials using nano coating technology. That's right. The only one in Canada on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange that has the patents to develop and advance silicon anode materials using nano coating technology. Enormous breakthrough potential here. Now, the technology also comes out of South Korea. A lot of people don't know this, but South Korea is the second largest electric vehicle battery manufacturer in the world. That's a fact. South Korea is the second largest electric vehicle battery manufacturer in the world behind China. That's right. And that's why I think you need to put NBM on your watch list, on your radar, right here, right now. NBM, don't forget it, in Canada on the Toronto Stock Venture Exchange and NBMFF in America, we think it has a chance to be a rocket. Now let's get into some of the reasons why. All right, so let's take a look at the Neo Battery Materials website and some details that I think everybody needs to be aware of. So first and foremost, their website is Neo batterymaterials.com. We're also going to take a look at their chart on trading view. So you can see the downward trend here on Neo battery materials. After a big move up, we've seen a serious selling from $1.30 all the way down. So you're probably wondering why. So it's extremely important to understand that this downward movement in the stock is mainly due to the fact that there's been private placement shares that have been released and sold into the market as of September. That's why there's so much downward pressure in the stock. And couple that with tax loss selling season, we're right now at the end of the year, which is tax loss selling season, has added to the selling pressure on the stock, which in our opinion makes us believe that this is extremely undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed, and heavily oversold. However, the private placement shares seem to have now been absorbed and the pressure is gone. So we believe that we are in a great position right now to see the stock go up a multiple. I think we have a chance to see this go 10x. I really do. And I think it's important that everybody puts it on their radar and on their watch list because the upside is absolutely tremendous from these levels, in my opinion. There is a very well-known investor that is very heavily involved in energy and gold, and he writes for 321gold.com, Bob Moriarty, and he absolutely loves NBM. And I've been reading all these articles here, and here's one where it says right here, it has been well-known for years that to improve battery charging time and performance, 
the battery manufacturers should use some form of silicon in the anodes, but the metal expands under charging and is not flexible. So companies are trying various forms of silicon nanode particles or microparticles. The microparticles are eight to 10% of the cost of the nanoparticles. NBM is achieving exceptional performance improvement through the use of microparticles while keeping their cost of production low. Such anodes stand to drive more battery costs on a dollar per kilowatt hour basis that in turn will drive the cost of mass market electric vehicles lower. The company is sending out samples on a daily basis of the proprietary silicon anodes to battery producers, the developers of solid state batteries and automotive manufacturers. Since their initial tests are proving so productive, NBM is planning upgrading a pilot plant to a semi-commercial facility with production of 120 tons of anodes per year that will supply anodes for up to 40,000 vehicles per year. So I want to make sure that you guys understand, like, this is a company that is being talked about that has enormous potential. The next leg up in the lithium battery market will be the production of solid state batteries. NBM has already achieved exceptional performance using a sulfides based all solid state electrolyte. This would also solve the flammability issues of current batteries in the marketplace. NBM has some of the most experienced battery scientists in the world working with them with five patents already in hand. Similar companies in the silicon anode marketplace have market caps far higher than MBM's 65 million. If you like the EV market, MBM offers attractive potential for price appreciation. And then you can even see here, once again, Bob Moriarty, my number one stock for the next 12 months would be Neo Battery Materials. There it is, NBM, and here's why. The state of batteries, lithium batteries today really sucks. The electric cars don't go very far. It takes a long time to charge. They're very inefficient for a lot of reasons. And the only reason they sell at all is because the government is subsidizing them. What I didn't realize was if you could put a silicon coating on an anode, you can get a charge that's five times faster. You can get a thousand cycles out of the battery and you can get 20% more range. It's one of those magic things for somebody who's at exactly the right place at the right time. And that's why I think everybody needs to be aware of NBM in Canada, NBM in America, huge potential. The key is at the very least in nine years, batteries are going to be a trillion dollar market. So something as simple as an anode, it might cost you a dollar to manufacture and you could probably sell for a hundred. That could be a giant winner. So guys, I'm not the only one saying this. There's a lot of people that really love Neo battery materials. Now, what I want to do is we're going to go through their corporate presentation and I want to speak on the key highlights of the corporate presentation. So once again, Neo battery materials pushing the step change in the electric vehicle market with silicon anode material. All right, so we're going to go right to the team. So I think it's very important to understand the team behind Neo Battery Materials. And the team is a very, 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 I think, powerful team. Dr. J.H. Park, Director and Chief Scientific Advisor, former senior researcher at LG Chemical. And Dr. Park worked at LG Chemical, a enormous 62 billion market cap company and retains over 92 patents related to battery technology and other innovations. Okay. And in addition to J.H. Park, you also need to take a look at the COO, Mr. S.R. Huang, Chief Operating Officer and former executive director and chief of purchasing at Samsung SDI. So I think everyone needs to be aware of those two individuals. And Samsung SD is the fifth largest battery manufacturer in the world 
and he worked there for over 30 years. That's right, over 30 years with Samsung SDI. And another individual that you should be aware of because this is a very, very successful, powerful team, dream team that they've put together. They also added J.H. Lee to the scientific board who is a PhD at MIT. In addition to that, they also completed a conceptual design of semi-commercial plant initiating the engineering for construction, expecting the facility completion by the end of 2022. So lots of key developments for NEO battery materials. And I believe this is just the beginning for this future rocket. And in addition to these members that have appointed, they have also appointed Dr. Mohini Sain, who was also appointed as a scientific advisor. His R&D excellence in the automotive industry has earned him the Ford Motor Canada PERDC Chair in Sustainable Materials at the University of Toronto. He will be acting as the Principal of Research for NEO's EV Battery Materials Collaboration with the university. In addition to that, they also signed an LOI for the Research Consortium, signed with the University of Toronto, an Undisclosed Global OEM, and R&D and commercial projects regarding electric vehicle battery materials. So let's talk about their fast-tracked commercialization. The management from globally largest battery manufacturers in the world, which include LG Chemical and Samsung SDI, NEO is targeting the construction of a semi-commercial plant capable of producing 120 tons annually. That's right. Signed over 17 NDAs with various battery metals, materials, and cell manufacturers. Includes large battery material and cell manufacturers in China, South Korea, Europe, and the United States. Recently launched three silicon anode products named NBM side for high performance lithium ion batteries. Now let's go over to slide number six. So you can see here the anatomy of lithium ion batteries. Lithium ions are transported from the negative electrode or the anode to the positive electrode cathode during discharge and back when charging. Neo battery materials is completely focused on the anode component of the battery. So that's 100% of their focus. The market is demanding specifically for cost competitiveness of the battery through decreasing material costs, making lighter and smaller batteries through increasing the energy and having strong, safer during operation. Let's go over to page number seven. So these are the current market demands. The market is demanding specifically for cost competitiveness of the battery through decreasing material costs, making lighter and smaller batteries through increasing the energy and having strong safety during operation. And we believe that Neo battery materials is positioned perfectly to take advantage of this focus. The anode market evolution. Currently, graphite is the main anode material used in lithium ion batteries for almost all applications. Energy capacity of graphite is limited and new materials are required to increase the energy capacity. Market is looking to use a silicon plus graphite anode and eventually 100% pure silicon anode, both of which Neo Battery Materials is focused on. So this is a big area of focus for Neo Battery Materials. So why use silicon? Well, silicon is recognized as the most promising material as it can store up to nine to 10 times more lithium ions than graphite. Game changer. Silicon can significantly increase the battery life and runtime, plus silicon can enable ultra fast charging. So key, key, key points here. Silicon can significantly increase the battery life and runtime, plus 
silicon can enable ultra fast charging. This is a game changer and why Neo battery materials is focused on silicon. So this is the silicon anode market. So because silicon can effectively decrease battery cost while increasing the EV driving range, silicon anode industry is facing a growth of 70 to 80% CAGR compound annual growth rate in the next five years. Incredible growth reaching up to 4 billion Canadian enormous potential and why I believe that Neo Battery Materials has a chance to 10x from today's prices. So what are some of the challenges with silicon anodes? However, the silicon anodes faces a volume expansion problem, increasing over 300% in volume. After multiple charging cycles, the silicon breaks and becomes completely damaged. Current industry solutions to fight expansion are also highly expensive and they use costly silicon nanoparticles. So these are some of the challenges with silicon anodes. Current industry solutions to fight expansion are also highly expensive as they use costly silicon nanoparticles. This is game changing and economical solution and is to use larger silicon microparticles as they are eight to 10 times cheaper than silicon nanoparticles. Once again, eight to 10 times cheaper than silicon nanoparticles, something that you need to be aware of. And another reason why Neo battery materials is an absolute game changer. Now let's go over to slide number 13. All right, so as you can see here, the NEO SI anode nanocoding technology. This is how NEO solves the technical and cost challenges with silicon anodes. NEO coats the silicon with low cost nanocoding materials to effectively fight the volume expansion problem. NEO also uses economical silicon microparticles that acts as a game changer for the industry due to immense cost savings. While industry focuses on expensive silicon nanoparticles, NEO focuses on low cost silicon microparticles and enhancing its performance. All right, and you can see here the NBM side, performance advantage, effectively controls the volume expansion problem of silicon during charging cycles to improve the lifespan and stability, reaches 1,000 cycles with 100% pure silicon anode. So you can see here, it is absolutely game-changing. And the NBM side performance advantage. So is NEO's technology, this is why NEO's technology is so special. NEO's technology allows ultra flexibility for structural stability and NEO enables five minute ultra fast charging capability. Once again, NEO offers five minute ultra fast charging capability. This is the key reason why NEO battery materials needs to be on your radar, needs to be on your watch list, ultra fast charging capability of just five minutes. That is absolutely game changing. This is the NBM side process advantage. So Neo possesses proprietary one pot single step nano coating technology to produce low cost silicon anode active materials. Does not require expensive engineering environments such as high heat, high pressure or vacuum. Continuous process manufacturing will be a point of NEO's differentiation to produce low cost silicon materials. And you can see the semi commercial plant facility. Let's talk about it. So, this is huge for them as well. 
they have upgraded the production to semi-commercial plant facility to produce 120 tons per year due to positive internal results and discussion, increasing from originally planned 10 tons per year pilot plant. So that is an absolute 12x in growth located in South Korea, close to large battery manufacturers, completed conceptual design and initiated engineering stage of EPC, engineering procurement construction, targeting the completion by the end of 2022 with a 10% silicon loading and 90% loading of graphite in the anode material. The semi-commercial plant will be able to supply 40,000 electric vehicles. Why solid state batteries? Neo silicon anodes are also compatible with solid state electrolytes. Solid state batteries are recognized as the next hype development for lithium ion batteries. And the solid state technology erases the issue of flammability and risk of explosion in the battery. Absolutely game changing. And another reason why you need to be really putting neo battery materials on your radar and on your watch list, this company is absolutely game changing. Once again, these are the key members of the team. As you can see here, Mr. Spencer S. B. Huh. And you can see Mr. Spencer S. B. Huh graduated from the Korea University in Seoul with a BEC. He's an experienced and proven financial professional with more than 25 years of financial and operational experience in Canada and Korea. And Mr. Ho worked with numerous private and public listed companies in Korea and Canada, including mining, medical device, and high-tech companies. You also need to be aware of Mr. J.H. Park, who is director and chair of the Scientific Advisory Board, and Mr. Park served as senior researcher for LG Chemicals, was among the core researchers for 42 patents at LG Chemical. And also, Mr. Park owns an additional 50 patents, including cathode material patents, a total exceeding 92 patents. He's also a top 100 leading scientist for renewable energy technology innovation for 2025. And also, Mr. S. R. Huang. Mr. S. R. Huang has over 30 years of experience working for Samsung SDI, serving as the executive director and chief of purchasing. So these are the key members that everyone needs to be aware of that I think gives them a huge advantage in the lithium ion battery industry. Now let's talk about the integration into solid state batteries. So this is some of the key data on NEO battery materials. Only a baby market cap at these prices of only 32 million market cap. So really a baby market cap. We could easily see that 10x and 93 million shares issued outstanding. So under that 100 million mark that we really like to look for. So love to know what you guys think about this good share structure, tight share structure, baby market cap. We believe this has a chance to be a 10X from these levels. I could easily see this being a 300 million market cap in the future, maybe even a billion market cap in the future if they're able to achieve all of their objectives. Now, love to know what you guys think about these videos. If you like these videos, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. If you're live, Neo Battery Materials. Absolutely game changing and there's four core battery materials to make batteries cathode anode electrolyte and separator and the anode is one of the four core battery materials and the one that neo battery materials is absolutely 100 percent focused on and why i believe they have a chance to be an absolute game changer now let's not forget they're looking to commercialize by 2023. So we've got a little bit of time before they go commercial. And I believe that that's the opportunity for you, the investors, to position yourself for the win. Love to know what you guys think about the video. Comment on the video. Do you own NBM in Canada? NBMFF in America? Are you thinking about buying it? Let me know. Comment down below. And we also want investors 
out of South Korea that are interested in learning more about this company to let us know, comment on the video. We could put you in direct contact with the company if you have any questions at all. I must remind you guys that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, we do believe this is a company that is grossly undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed with a baby market cap, tight share structure, and huge growth potential. I love to know what you guys think. This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, bringing you Neo Battery Materials, NBM in Canada, NBM FF in America. What do you guys think? It's your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and I'm out.